I'm here in Ipswich today to meet a friend of mine, Leo. I know Leo from a acting course that we were on a few years ago. So let's go say hi to Leo, shall we? Hey, hello. Hey. Oh, it's so good to see you. I'm Leo. I'm trans and have cerebral palsy. I'm gay. I'm a diversity trainer. I'm a model. I'm a dog lover, and I'm a partner. Leo, you're a, a life model. You're a speaker. You're the subject of all of this art in this um, gallery space. And I can see over here that you also do poetry. So tell me a bit about that. I do poetry. The art is good and about plenty. For about two years, and we created this sort of body of work um, with the name the Meat the Chicken. Um, it kind of shows um, that my disability and also my gender identity. Very curious, I've always been something quite private for me. And I tend to only be able to write when I'm feeling a very strong emotion. But when I worked with Annabelle, I felt I wanted to add some of my poetry to some of her artwork. So on this, the two perfect pieces were actually back to back and we we based the idea on the key drought woman. The kissing ladies. Do you mind if I read it? Yeah. I am your target. The social constraints you normally have fail you. I pose as a desire. A high pitched, patronizing voice. I'm not a dog. I feel obliged to let you touch me. The social interaction from which I am absent lasts a period of time before the need you feel wears and you leave. That is about how strangers tend to come up to me and talk to me just because I have a disability and I feel like that okay to come and talk to me and for some reason they talk to me in a high pitched voice. <laughs> like you were talking, yeah. oh it's so yeah. nice to see you, how are you doing? Yeah. So I can see that in these paintings that you're wearing some sort of giant dress. The old teacher wanted me to actually wear her wedding dress for the project and we wanted to do on my community and femininity. That way you can see my jeans and my big boots um, underneath the dress. I was very shocked at how uncomfortable I actually felt in the dress and I couldn't wait to get out of it. <laughs> so you're kind of pushing yourself outside your comfort yeah. zone for the sake of art. I mean, as we both know, a dress doesn't make a man or a woman, it's just no. clothing. But it's funny how certain items can make us feel more like ourselves. For me, it very much as though Ellen being in charge of what I wore, not as if it dictated by someone else. And also, you're, you're you now. I began my transition in 2012. So I feel a lot more comfortable with my body, like inside and out. So I guess it nowadays it doesn't matter so much what I wear as I eat it. The two of the two on the right hand side, she actually did in um, one sitting each. And the, the one on the far right, oh, my back is like quite significant for me. It was before I had my surgery and I had always been quite ashamed of my back and how it looked. 
and that was it the first time I allowed someone to think of it or something positive. That's the beauty of, of this art, it's about turning difficult situations into beautiful things. There's a huge amount of trust that you have to put into something like this and a lot of work. It seems like a really nice collaboration with you two. I had dinner with other at her house every week. When I was sitting with her, all I would do was chat to her. So I really think the work is so significant because she, she grew to know me quite well. So tell me this work that you do as a life model it's pretty intimate stuff what made you want to get into this line of work in my early two interviews i modeled for the welcome to a disability um awareness that can turn i've also modeled at the stage for queer now so, Leo, why do you think it's important that someone who's queer and trans um, should be doing this, sort, this kind of work, life modeling? A lot of people always um, don't really think about disabled people having much of a body image and a sexuality to and put my work to modern and also diversity speaking I hope to change people's views a bit. And that people with several forces can be proud of their bodies. Um, and the fact that I am trans get kind of another layer on that choice. I think it involves a lot of people do. And to say that the disabled person has so much more to them than just a disability. I am a trans man, I have several properties, and I'm also gay, and that's not too much. 